Hey guys, this is the Saigami Project and my name is Andrea Otilia Veros, aka Sunny, creator of the manga series Saigami, published and serialized in Saturday AM, the bi-weekly digital manga anthology featuring creators from all around the globe. Since one of my most received video is uh, my review on the Touch 5 markers, I figured I'm gonna be testing another type of cheap markers. Um, if you've seen the Touch 5 video, you know that they are probably one of the cheapest markers you can get, but on the other hand they have some quality issues. So this time I was trying to go for a marker that uh, sort of better quality and probably easily reachable, so you don't necessarily have to go online and order it from eBay or Amazon or wherever you can find it. And since I'm now in Canada, I have more access to more art supply stores, including Michael's. So, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just happen to like Michael's because, you know, it's kind of amazing. It's, you know, you go in and it's like heaven. So, yeah. Um, so, what I have here is uh, Artist Loft sketch markers uh, with double tip. Artist Loft is uh, a Michael's brand, I mean their own home band. Um, actually, the box doesn't really say too much. Um, the markers have a chisel nib and a brush nib, similarly to the Copic sketch markers. And here I have this set of uh, six pieces uh, with earth colors. And I also bought uh, three uh, single markers uh, because I wanted to have skin colors as well. I'm gonna be coloring this artwork, um, but first of all I'm gonna be uh, showing you these markers a bit up close. So what I have in front of me is a simple sheet of copy paper and here are the markers. Uh, autofocus, autofocus, yeah, <laughs> there we go. So as you can see it's a sort of triangular shape, which is kind of interesting. I feel like it's somewhat maybe easier to hold than uh, for example, the shape of a touch or a Copic marker has, and as you can see, it has a chisel nib, and on the other side, it has a brush nib, which is pretty neat. If you've seen my touch five markers video, you know that it only had a fine nib, so uh, the lack of the brush nib was a, a huge con. But this one has a brush nib. And actually it feels pretty close to the Copic, so I really like that. Even the colors are pretty nice. Uh, as far as I've seen, uh, they don't come in such a huge variation as, for example, Copics. Uh, but you can get a pretty nice selection of colors. They have these sets of six uh, markers and you can get the single markers as well. I mean, if you go for one single marker, it's um, four. Uh, Canadian dollar. I have no idea what it cost in USD, but yeah, I, I guess it will be cheaper, like maybe three USD. I don't know, I, I'm too used to Canadian dollar right now. Um, but yeah, you can get uh, one of these for four Canadian dollars, and the set is, uh, I think it was 20 dollar, but you know, with Michael's you can use coupons, and they basically have uh, 50 or 40 percent off coupons every week. Um, so I got these on half price. So this set of six markers was only 10 bucks, which is a pretty good price for quality markers because these are obviously much better quality than the Touch 5 markers. You can tell by just looking at the quality of the markers. Uh, on the outside and just looking at the nibs. So I feel pretty confident about it. Uh, I'm probably gonna collect some more colors, but for f uh, now, for starting, I wanted to test uh, them on this piece of artwork. So yeah, I'm gonna be coloring that artwork, and in the end, I'm gonna be telling you more about my experiences with these markers. So let's jump into it. So I started coloring my artwork uh, first with the skin because usually I start coloring with the skin no matter what type of uh, art supply I use for coloring. Uh, I don't really have the variation with the colors so I went over with a single color multiple times and tried to blend things. 
and actually the blending worked out pretty nice uh, due to the lack of colors I used the trick when I uh, touched the nib together with a darker color to get the darker color uh, spread over the lighter color to have a sort of more gradient effect but all in all I can say that uh, I could blend uh, the colors pretty nicely especially the clo uh, colors that were closer to each other when there was a bigger gap between uh, the colors, for example, my greens, my lighter green and my darker green was much harder to blend uh, than, for example, the skin colors, because with the skin colors, um, the two colors I had was right next to each other uh, on the numbering, so those were pretty easy to blend. But even when I was bringing in the light blue uh, to give a sort of rim light effect on the skin, I could uh, blend that with the skin color pretty nicely and I could uh, really add the effect I wanted to the image. And that was a really pleasant surprise. Uh, you know, the Touch 5 markers didn't blend at all, so I was kind of worried what I can expect from a cheaper marker. But I have to say, these markers are very good. I was expecting way less quality, um, but yeah, both uh, the colors were really nice, they really look like uh, as they show on the cap, uh, so that was really nice, although when I first uh, put the color on the paper they are darker, but as soon as the ink dries they will become the exact colors uh, they show on the, on the caps. So that's a really good point. And all in all, I was happy with the ink quality. Um, I don't have too much, much experience with Copics, but I would say these markers have a much better quality ink than the other cheap markers I tried out before. And yeah, although there was a little bit of uh, bleeding, it wasn't uh, anything disturbing. Uh, the paper underneath the artwork uh, got a little bit of ink, but it wasn't anything too serious. I didn't feel like I was uh, wasting ink at all, and uh, although sometimes uh, the ink went a little bit over the lines, mostly it was uh, due to my mistakes and not uh, as much about the ink running, so that was also pretty good for me. So yeah, all in all... Uh, I really liked to work with these markers. Uh, they were really easy to work with, uh, even despite having just nine colors uh, to choose for my image. Uh, what I would pick uh, for cons um, would be that the brush nib is uh, not so thin and flexible as, for example, a Copic nib. Uh, although it's, uh, it's a very nice and good brush tip, uh, in the and where it's supposed to have uh, that very thin edge, it doesn't really have as thin lines as a Copic markers. So when it came to the very fine details, I had a little bit of trouble. So for example, when I was coloring the hair, I switched to the chisel nib because apparently uh, the edge of the chisel nib can grant me finer and thinner lines uh, than the very end of the brush nib. So that was something uh, I would say as a con, uh, although I had my fair share of experience working with the chisel nib uh, thanks to the touch pipe markers because they didn't have uh, uh, the brush nib at all. Uh, so it wasn't really uh, bothersome for me, but yeah, I, I wish uh, that the brush nib was a little bit uh, thinner in the end and maybe a bit more flexible. Um, but yeah, for this price, I would say that this sort of brush nib is a really good quality and it was really easy to work with. Another little bit of con for me was uh, that sometimes I had trouble uh, putting the caps back on the markers, especially when I was in a hurry because I wanted to uh, blend the colors, so I had to pick the new color uh, as long as the ink is still wet. So in the end what I did was I didn't put back the caps on the markers because uh, 
yeah, and I, I had to use some force. It might be just uh, my inability to put back caps on markers, I don't know. But uh, with some markers I had a trouble pushing them back. And I was a little bit worried that maybe I'm not placing the nib in the right way, or, you know, maybe I'm damaging the brush nibs. In the end I didn't, but yeah, I was a bit worried that I will expect the caps to go back on easier. Well, at least you can tell that your caps won't be loose, which is a good thing because with the touch five markers, the nibs uh, often dry due to uh, the caps being loose. So after a short time, the markers became uh, not usable anymore because they dried out. I don't see that happening with these markers and caps. Also, a little bit of information about the drawing. The character I'm drawing here is Reggie from my manga series Saigami. Uh, you can read the first two chapters on Saturday M's homepage. I'm going to be leaving uh, the link uh, in the video description box below. And you can also read the first volume of the manga. It's available worldwide through Amazon or Book Depository. And the second volume is coming out this October really soon. So yeah, that's a really exciting thing. Yeah, green is not exactly the main color for this character, despite the green eyes. So, what I had here in mind is a sort of militaristic look. That's why I went for uh, the camo pants to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, all in all, I was really happy with the result. You know, I just had nine colors to work with. So it was uh, not easy to come up with uh, something that would look good. And... Um, will look complete and not showing that I was basically lacking colors because I really felt like I was but in the end uh, since I was able to blend and uh, due to the set being uh, a, a color combination of earth colors I feel like I could create an image that has a really good color harmony and I was really happy with it in the end. In the future I'm definitely gonna be investing a bit more in today's markers, especially since, you know, with the coupons I can get them on half price, so that's a really good deal. Um, I think they are also popular because uh, in my local micas they kinda had a stock problems. I mean, apart from this set of six markers, they only had like two others left and uh, I could see that four others were sold out. Uh, but as soon as they will have more colors, uh, I would like to collect some more and work uh, on more marker artworks. Because, yeah, working on this artwork, I felt like I don't even need to invest in copics. I mean, I can work with this really well. I, I was happy working with them. It was really easy, really nice. It was great. And... Uh, although it might be a con uh, that these markers aren't uh, refillable, so basically when they run out of ink you just throw them out, and in the long term uh, getting the copics with the refills or getting the touch uh, markers, not the touch 5, the normal touch markers with refills can be cheaper. If you're starting out, I would recommend to go for these sort of cheaper markers to see if the markers are working out for you, if it's the right medium for you, uh, to learn blending before you invest in a really, really expensive copy set. So yeah, these, these are really good. I, I can only recommend them. And once again, it's not a sponsored video. I was just really happy to find cheap but quality markers. So these aren't fake copy dupes like many stuffs you can uh, get on uh, eBay or AliExpress or some other sites. Because um, yeah, these are these are much much better than those very very cheap markers. They are yes a little a little bit more expensive than those, but even so the price is still really good compared to a Copix. So. Yeah, it's it's cheap but quality marker. I can only recommend. So much about these markers for now. I hope you find this useful. And if you have ever tried these markers out, I would be interested to hear your opinions about it. I'm sure I will be doing many more artwork with these markers in the future as well. Especially when I will have a bigger selection of colors. Because I want to work on a lot of artworks. Um, 
you know, you can read my manga series Saigami, the second volume is coming out, you can already get the first one, you can subscribe for Saturday um, uh, the Diverse by Weekly Digital Manga Magazine, which is just $5 for a whole year and you will receive 20 issues, um, it includes uh, Apple Black, uh, Bully Eater, Clock Striker, Paradise Down and many other cool manga series. And also recently I opened up my store MV store. So far I don't have too many contents. I have uh, prints for Saigami, I have uh, fan art stickers, and I will uh, have some original artwork for sale as well. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please check it out. Um, even a small purchase can support me a lot, and I will really appreciate that. And also, I would be interested to see what sort of story MV merchandise would like to uh, see from me in the future, because you know I would like to create content and uh, merchandise that you might be interested in. So yeah, I'm gonna be leaving all of the links below in the video description box, and I will be back in my next video in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Bye.